Country will go to the polls on the 8th of May. Two liberation movements hoping to get your vote are the Pan-Africanist Congress and the Azanian People's Organization. Now, in the 2014 national elections, the PAC only received 37,000 votes, gaining them one seat in parliament. The party has been marred by infighting for leadership positions. And in 2014, the elections, the 2014 elections, I, I should say, also saw a decline in voters for Azapo, with the party losing the one seat it had in the National Assembly. I'm joined by Naria Smoloto, who is the president, who is from the PAC, as well as Tegizwa Tabula, who is with Azapo. Good evening to both of you, and thanks very much um, for joining us. Now, I mean, when one looks at the past 25 years, you can see just how it's been um, a post-apartheid elections have been unkind to both of you. Of course, you started off by deciding not to participate in 1994, and I guess you're still paying the price. Yeah, you, you can say that, uh, but I think what we want to dismiss is that Azapo was not strategic in contesting the 1994 elections. Um, the sole reason was that we wanted to protect the dignity of our people. You know, um, When they went to the negotiation table, land was not up for discussion. You can see that in the 1993 interim constitution, um, it made no provision for whoever would be in National Assembly to amend the constitution. So what, that was Azapo's biggest concern. And then fast forward to 1999, uh, when they decided to now join the, the electoral politics. It was inspired by the fact that the now 19, um, 1996 constitution, um, through its section 44, had now made it uh, possible for whoever is in government to amend the constitution. But if you look from 1999 to now, it, that uh, decision, strategic as you may think it was, it hasn't really uh, it, it brought certainly about has any not. real gains. If yeah. anything, you've regressed. Yeah, it certainly has not. And this is solely because elections have become a very expensive sport. Um, so for principled parties like Azapo, who are not sponsored by the likes of your crisis, it becomes difficult, you know, to... to to participate. Uh, but then not only that, I mean, no anti-black system is going to, to happily fund a, an organization like ours that stands um, to destabilize their anti-black agenda. Narius, I mean, your organization started, well, fairly well in comparison to Azapo, for example. You had about, what, six, seven um, MPs back uh, in the day. Um, and uh, look where you are now. You've been fighting uh, among yourselves for the one seat that you have currently available in Parliament. That doesn't... Uh... Yeah, look, let me admit that PAC didn't start it well. It has its own both internal and external problem facing the 1994 elections. As you are aware, I think it was not agreed both at the membership and the leadership that um, we should go to the elections. In, there were those who were opposed to participating in elections. There were other people who were de campaigning elections themselves. But in the end, you participated. In the end, we And you got a lot more than you have currently. That, that, that's true. And, and I think we, we even get far more better at, at that stage, given that um, uh, we did not have experience and we did not have funding. But the condition which existed then, you remember that PAC was, um, uh, offices were raided three months before elections. It went into the elections uh, in, in a very difficult situa uh, situation. Uh, there, there, were, there were still debate whether we should continue with them, struggle or not, despite the fact that leadership has, has that. Now, those were the circumstances the condition within which uh, 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 PAC participated. But subsequent to that, we have seen, because, because uh, most of the leadership then were more professionals and intellectuals, and they went into various practices and left the party. It has to be rebuilt, uh, which took time, and obviously with some difficulties. Now, the party was not really orientated for the, the type of settlement and, and what we had, our democracy. It wasn't really... Um, anyway in the picture of the, the PAC. Uh, and that uh, we, we uh, actually grappled with the reality that we have to 
adapt to the conditions of, of elections. And, and that, that affected the party performance, even on the subsequent. But also, uh, I think let the leadership that is able to interpret the, the situation, the concrete uh, conditions on the ground and tactical strategies, I think we're not balancing. Well, having lost the one seat you had um, before the last elections, you ought to have done some soul searching. Mm -hmm. and looked at the things you're going to do differently and how you're going to recover. Um, have you done that? Indeed we have. Um, we've gone back to our tradition of working closely with communities, um, which means now working closely with churches, NGOs, civil servants, and many like-minded organizations towards youth development, towards education, um, and many other projects. To, to ensure that the liberation happens. But also what we've done differently because we see um, people generally warm up to a younger presence. I mean, statistics show that uh, our country is more youthful. So me being here is, a, is, is a part and parcel of a representation of Azapo doing something different to appeal to the public, to appeal to the masses. Um, we're also working tirelessly to strengthen our students and youth wing so as to ensure that they respond adequately to education issues, to youth issues. And we're also working with um, um, Imbelego, our women's wing, to make sure that it also adequately um, responds to, to patriarchy and the status quo as it stands. So there are quite a, a number of things we are doing differently. As late as a month ago, you were still in court of fighting. One group still saying it's the legitimate um, PAC and another one winning at court. But have you resolved you only a couple of months to the election? Yeah, look, uh, we are, that for us in the peace, they're not issues anymore. There are issues in so far as they attract bad publicity. PAC has made huge progress at, uh, in terms of reorganizing itself. Um, our focus Although elections will come, but it's to influence... What do you point to when you make that claim? Look at this. This is how we've made progress. Look at that. How... The, the PAC um, presence in the provinces, the structures, which was not there. It is now there. We build leadership. We build structures. Because that's where first, before you even expect uh, the public, the people who, don't, who are not your members to vote for you, uh, you must have structures and your members who vote for. And I think from there, and that's where we focused in terms of building the party on the ground, making sure that the structures are solid, that we've made. And also what you see, we've been transforming the party and make it relevant to play a role uh, in the current condition and, and, and society. And, and we have success, we have been success, the attitude in the, in the PS has changed. You don't have people just walking around talking aimlessly, doing things. Uh, we, we are influencing the society, we are, we are influ influencing the thinking, we are getting things right. That is where we are going. It's not just a question of us winning or losing elections. It's a question of what future do we have for our country and how do we get there. Now, I mean, in your analysis, you would have looked at those um, who are in the same situation as you, uh, but also perhaps those who came long after you, but who have made some serious advances, like your EFFs, for example. What, in your analysis, have they done right compared to how you have conducted yourselves? <laughs> um, I'm not sure if I can say they have fundamentally done something right to the advancement of well, the Well, to, to be the third, I mean, to, to, to be the third uh, biggest party, you know, um, in their first, uh, the first time they were contesting a national of, election of is quite in incredible. Numbers, and we know that they are also hugely privately funded, um, something that Azapo doesn't uh, enjoy, you know, because we want to reassure the people that the leadership we are putting in power is a character type of leadership, you know. So they, we know very well that they are sponsored, and which is why they're able to attain uh, the number of seats they have in parliament. But in as far as their contribution to the liberation project, I'm not too sure about that. And we know the, the, the EFF has been echoing what Azapo has been saying from time immemorial, for instance, um, they are stands on the abolition of provinces. That is Azapo's position for a long time. And it is solely so to protect the resources of the state to make sure that corruption doesn't spiral up as it has. But what have you learned from other people who have actually done better than you? Look, we, 
We learn from our own mistakes, our past. We learn from other countries. We do have experiences because we lived in many countries. It's just that, that our approach to the South African democracy and elections will be different. And uh, we will now, um, and we've been refocusing, as I've said, and we'll continue to refocus. I think we are getting there. I want to, to both quickly respond to something um, that is uh, in the news right now. The first secretary of the South African Communist Party reckons that Robert Sobukwe lived a privileged life um, in prison, unlike um, <laughs> other prisoners on Robin Island. I don't your know thoughts? that Gulaf will be offended. You know, when I saw that, I was hoping for you that it's fake news. But since it is not, where's my camera? I want to tell Solima Baila to pull up his pants and stop excreting on the legacy of the Prophet Robert Sobukwe. Norris? Look, uh, Sobukwe used to call those quacks um, the, those who misrepresent communism. They're not genuine communism, communists. Uh, I think um, people who are communists are advanced in theory and in analysis and they do not necessarily uh, come and talk loosely. So we have suffered a lot in solitary co confinement, and there's no any other political prisoner in this country who suffered like him. Okay. And it is unfortunate, that statement. I'm sure he will have to retract. Yeah, he must retract. Okay, and if he doesn't... Thanks to both of you for coming through. All the best in the election. Of course, ENCA continues to interrogate uh, the ideas, but also in thoughts of various political parties as we move into, as we get closer to the May election poll. Naria